Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this summer flower seed beads earrings with brick stitch, single and double. If you don't know these stitches, don't worry because I'm showing them step by step. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment, this way you help me so much. You might also support me by becoming a member which comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Now without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11-0 seed beads, white, yellow, orange, red and turquoise. These are earring finding sliver bags, you could use others of your choice. This is Neil Bond nylon thread, you could use Nymo or fire line or other thread of your choice. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use similar needle size and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up two white beads and I'm going to slide those down. Here I will leave a small tail thread that I will use later to finish my work and I'm going through one of the white beads, exiting out of one of them, I'm going through the other one and you see I have a loop between them, they are touching side to side as you may see with the holes pointing in this direction and I will reinforce the join between them just like that. Then I need one turquoise bead and I'm going back like this through the previous white bead and then one more time through the turquoise and I wanna reinforce this joint here. Okay my friends and the same way I'm going to add two white beads, one white and one more white. And if you feel like it just reinforce to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay? In my next step I'm taking two white beads and what I'm going to do guys is you see these thread bridges that I have I'm going through the very first one of them like this. This is called brick stitch what I'm doing here but don't worry if you don't if you're not familiar with it I'll show it step by step. Okay now I'm going through the bead which is closer to the center and I'm pulling. And in my next step guys I want to add one more white bead here at this side. That is why I'm just taking it and I'm going backwards like this to add it. And then because I don't like the gap that I have here I go through these two beads at once, then here in the next white and here. And then I need to add two of those beautiful turquoise beads. And here at the last thread bridge I add one more white bead. 
and what I need next guys is one more white and I'm attaching it to this last white in this way and I'm taking here two white beads I go here through this first thread bridge and through the one that is closer to the center of my work then I go in the next white and I'm adding here one more white bead okay then I'm going through this white the neighbor white and because you see guys I don't like this gap that I have here that is why I'm going through this bit like this to close the gap And then I need to go through all of those three white beads in this direction. Okay. And I'm exiting out of this white bead. Now I need to add five turquoise beads one by one. And after that guys I need three more white beads and how I'm adding them I take one white bead and add it this way then my friends I'm out of thread bridges but I will use the same last thread bridge to add one more white And the third white that I'm adding, I add it absolutely the same way, going backwards like this. Then like this. And then like this. Okay, then I take two white beads. I'm going under this thread bridge here and through the one that is closer to the center of my work then I take one of those beautiful turquoise beads And I want to do an additional reinforcement here. Go through all of those beads like this to close this gap that I don't like. And then I'm going backwards and exiting here out of this turquoise. Then I need seven, seven more turquoise beads.
Okay guys, and here I'm out of thread bridges, but I'm going to add one more white bead at the last thread bridge that I have here. Okay, and I'm ready with this row as well. I take two white beads and I go under this white bead. and then through the one which is closer to the center then I need three turquoise beads Then one white, one turquoise, one white. And then three turquoise and two white beads. Now pay attention guys, I'm starting double brick stitch. Again don't worry, I'm showing it step by step. So I take two white and two turquoise beads and I go under the first thread bridge. And then I go through these two turquoise beads that are closer to the center. So everything is the same, just I add double the quantity of beads. Then I take a white and a turquoise double the quantity and I go under the next thread bridge. So here I start with four and continue with two. In the previous rows I was starting with two and continue with one. Now because it's double the quantity I start with four and continue with two. Then I take white and turquoise and I go here two white beads red and white then two reds Again, two reds. Red and white. Two white beads. white and turquoise white and turquoise two turquoise
and two white beads. Okay, next row I continue with double brick stitch, so I take four beads and because I increase, I go under the first thread bridge. And through the two that are closer to the center. Two white beads. And two more white beads. Now I need a white and a red bead. Next thread bridge. Then an orange and a red. Two more columns of two red beads. Then a red and a white. And four columns of two white beads. And the last two are at the same thread bridge as the previous. Okay guys, now I will take my other earring to be like a pattern for what I do here. And now I just did this row. So I need three columns of two white beads, then a red and a white. I start again with four. go here under the first thread bridge and through the two beads that are closer to the center and as I said I need three columns of two white beads and then a red and a white Okay, let me see what I have next. Okay, three columns of two white beads, red and white. Now I need two columns of two red beads and orange and red. Okay, then two more red beads orange and red then two columns of two orange beads Then orange and red. Two columns of two red beads.
I symmetrically repeat this part. Then red and white. And three columns of two white beads. Okay, my friends, and this is the widest row of my earring. And from now on, I'm going to start decreasing. Now I will start with four white beads and will continue with three columns of two red beads. But this time, guys, I'm decreasing. Here I have less beads than in the previous row. That is why here I go under the second thread bridge, you see, not under the first that what I was doing now, but under the second. And then I do the same thing. I go through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work and I pull. And here you see I have a gap. This is because my beads stretch as they go under the second thread bridge instead of the first and they stretch and I need to make another new thread path to make them stay nice and tight next to each other. Okay, and I'm pulling. And as I said, I need three columns of two red beads. Okay, now guys, what I do next, here I have my three, okay, and now I'm looking from my pattern. I need two orange, two orange, yellow and orange, two orange, two orange, two red, two red, two red, white, white. Okay, I'll do this off camera, you can pause and do this too watching from here and when I'm ready I'll be back to show you the result. Okay guys and I did this row. If you haven't done this just pause this video and do this from here. Orange, orange, yellow, orange, 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 three times red and two times white. Okay and I will continue with my next row. I take four white beads and again I go under the second thread bridge because I decrease and from here on until the end, I will be decreasing, guys. That is why I will be reinforcing the beads that I add. Okay. Now I added the first four beads. Okay, let me take this pattern. Now I need white and red and two columns of two red beads. Okay. Now I will continue adding the beads until the end of this row. Two orange, yellow, yellow, orange, red, red, white and red, white and white. And when I'm ready, I'll be back. Okay, guys, and this is how I did this row. Now we need to start our next row. But this time, pay attention, it is single brick stitch. I start with white and red. Okay, here it is. And I go under the second thread bridge. And 
and I will reinforce it as I said when I go under the second thread bridge I always reinforce from here on guys I will be doing only single brick stitch and let me take now I have white and red then I need three white orange yellow orange three white red and white okay and I will show you only the first one And when I'm ready, I'll show you the result. If you still haven't done it, you will be able to pause and do this. Okay, guys, and I just did this row. If you haven't done it, just pause and follow adding this bead in this sequence and you will be okay. Then I need to add my next row. Two white, red, two white, two orange, two white, red and two white beads okay i'll do this by going under the second thread bridge and reinforcing and when i'm ready i'll be back and here is my next row guys with single brick stitch just follow the steps here if you still haven't done it and you will be able to make it okay let's take this earring to be our pattern and what i need next are three white one red white orange white one red and three white beads okay as i said i always start with two when i make double brick stitch i go under the second thread bridge and i reinforce and now continue until the end of this row and i'll be back this row is ready guys so if you haven't done this just pause and continue from here on until you do this in my next step what I want to do is go through this white bead and then through the neighbor one then I take two white beads and go here under this second thread bridge counting from this side and through the one which is closer to the center and reinforce and here add six more white beads and you will have a total of eight okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back and i'm here guys where i need to add my last row of beads i'm zigzagging like this take two white beads and go under the second thread bridge that I have here and through the one which is closer to the center and reinforce then one red bead and two more white beads okay then take three white beads earring finding and three white beads and as i'm exiting from here i'm going in the next beads and by the way if you want you could zigzag and reinforce this part here but now i will directly show you how i'm making my knot and cutting my thread okay i'm going through some beads making here a loop going once going second time through this loop I've made pulling going here through some beads pulling like this and I'm cutting this tail thread okay 
Now I will put my needle here on this end and I will do the same thing and I will cut this thread as well. Okay guys and now my summer garden flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also please like share and comment you help me so much in this way. You might also want to become a member and this comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.